Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Sandy's Great Escape, where we are going to spend just a bit of time on the last couple of puzzles on this island. I think we have like, yeah, there are three left here. Um, we are not going to be here all day. We're going to see at least some of the next biome before we are done here, but uh, I do want to, I do want to spend a little bit of time with each of these. So... No, it's not beneficial to get killed by this one. We want to get killed by the second air, all right? I think that's the only way we can get to the shell in time. But we can't die... Hmm. Yeah, so we have to get past there, which requires us to create this hole. And then I wanted, to, I mean, we have to go down in the, in the top space here, right? Unfortunately, I'm creating a lot of holes by, uh, by doing this, but like, I have to get this out of this column. Okay. Now we can get you across here. I think that's okay. All right, there we go. Now we can hold down the button. All right, I want that to be facing left, the, the jump pad down here so that we can get to this key. Now we have the key, we have access to this area. We have to figure out a way to hold down this red button. And it's gotta, damn it. <clears throat> you, lose, you lose focus for like a split second. And it's gotta be this crate, right? There's absolutely no way for us to get a body over here. So it's got to be, or for us to get a shell over here. So it's got to be this crate. So we want to push the crate up from the south. Yeah. But how? Question is, <laughs> question is how do we do this safely, right? Okay, I think this is gonna work. Oh wait, except if I go down here, I'll be yeah, I'll be stuck. I'll never be able to get out of there. Well that wasn't so bad. I don't even remember I remember that that I couldn't find a solution for this before, but I don't remember what I was trying to do before that wasn't working. Um that is a lot slower than the optimal solution. Holy crow. Um, I might go and have a look real quick. Let's, let's get our reward here. Sometimes just like walking away and being able to abandon, uh, no thanks. Being able to abandon, you know, whatever set of assumptions you were already working with, um, could be enough. The brain can sometimes get stuck in a very unhelpful place. All right. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go. Yeah, because we got to push this. Okay. So I definitely lost a lot of speed here, but this one's real tricky. Right, because there's no way to get... Did I use this crate for anything in our previous solution or did I just completely ignore it? I think I completely ignored it. But like, do we need it? Is it not better to just use the 
the shell. This is definitely... Yeah, this is definitely a version of this thing that took fewer overall steps. Right, getting the um, the button pressed and um, and the what do you call it? the jump pad rotated? Yeah, and then we just push up against the uh, against the current here. 91, we just hit the, this is gonna actually end up being very similar in terms of overall moves to the solution we had moments ago. I think I cut like three. I think I cut like three when I needed to cut 20. <laughs> yeah, how do you lose 20 moves off of that? Okay, let me. There totally are enough boxes for the buttons. I even had in my head this idea that we were going to use a shell from uh, from last time. I don't know why. Don't know why that was the thing I had decided. Well, if I hmm. so we definitely don't want to step to the right right now. You know, maybe. No, but I do need to step out of this column. Shit. Right. One, two, three. So I'll get shot if I try to push this. Yeah, there's no version of... Pushing this box around does not feel more efficient than just making a nice convenient shell. What if this is my shell move? So hold on, how does it, it would have to be right now that I would press it to the right, left, up, right. So we have to like, go up. Damn it. I had to like burn a little bit of time because moving left right now kills me. I mean, I guess I can just move left and then right again. It's. That felt pretty move efficient, right? My guess is we're going to find out in a second that it was not efficient enough. Tends to be the case. So I lowered that on 52. Is that different from before? I don't know. My guess would be no. Get up there. Well, I mean, what? This is like, this is like 13 or 14 steps faster than the last time. It's still not 91, but it's really close. Oh, it's really close. Yeah, that crate is a trap for sure. There's a slightly, slightly more efficient version of that. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. We are less than 10 minutes in. We are less than 10 minutes in. I can, I can, we can, we only oh, take one more look. So it's like, if I get myself killed here right away, I can push this to safety, get it up here. Yeah, the problem is that I can't, okay, left, left, right, up, right, right. But if I don't push it all the way up immediately, then we're gonna have this problem, right, of me having to get below it and or to its right, which costs us a ton of steps. So it feels like I do wanna I do want to end up with it at the top of the thing here so that that's not an available move, basically.
No, I mean, this feels like the only semi-efficient thing. It is definitely faster to take the actual jump pads here than to die. There's no place where dying speeds us up any. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I don't I don't see a way to speed that up. It's a solution. We're going to live with it for the moment. This is definitely giving me uh, some familiar vibes. Some of the, uh, the later stuff on the first island. Uh, okay. So we spent a little bit of time playing around with this before the end of the last episode. During which I decided it's very important to get this blue button held down. I think that's solid. I think that makes sense. So we get drawn over here. Add you to the to the thing. We do a lot of jumping off of stuff. It's very important that we jump off stuff. And so what I would like to do right now, ideally, is get something on that green button. But how do I manage this? we can get this down to here. I guess I could push. Yeah, that's something, huh? I could push this off the blue button. Actually, do I need to do that? If I just reverse the, okay, the, if I just reverse things right now, that goes where it needs to go. But what I was thinking is if I had both of the boxes in that vertical fan flow, it'd be pretty easy to push one of them onto the green button afterward. And then that would allow us to extend the vertical fan flow all the way to the bottom island where the key is. And to do that, we do in fact have to get that box off of that button. So... Yeah, do this, jump in here, because we need this pillar to be up, otherwise I can't cross it to get the box. Okay, now we, re well, I guess the efficient way to do this is to jump off the ledge. All right, now that that's the case, we can shove this thing to here. And I need coverage on the blue button again. Shoot. Uh, or two boxes. Yeah, if we could get two boxes into the airflow, that would be enough for me to just get stopped on the other end. Uh, there is another box. We have to... How would I interact with that other box? I would have to get the red bollard down. Like, we'd have to do this, right? And then move this box down that platform. Actually, this box doesn't need to go anywhere. I need to get down there, which I can do by falling off of the ledge. But the only thing you can do with this is cover up the yellow position which doesn't actually help. The thing I need is to get that box into, into play, so to speak. Hmm. And once I've gotten, yeah, okay. Once we've gotten that red button covered up, um, it really reduces our mobility.
so I could fall off the platform, get myself into, uh, get myself to re reverse the fans. It really feels like we are missing a box here. It feels like there are there are too few boxes for the the puzzle because you absolutely do need a second box in this um in this thing, but you must also have a box on the green button. Unless we recover the Unless we recover the blue button first. Okay, so what if I push this out of the beam and then go die? Reclaim this box. Well, there's no way to get this box where I need it to be though. I could push them Push them both out of the beam. Okay, what if it's like. Sorry, before we even do that. Well, it can't be before, though. Shoot. I mean, like, once you've done this, you're in a lot of trouble, I think. But there is now a way to move a box over to here. Fall off of there. That gets me coverage on the blue button again. And then... Let's me walk to here. And at this point, if we can cover the yellow button, we win. So I'm gonna fall off because I don't wanna reverse the direction of the fans again. So if I step in this, am I necessarily, yeah, I'm always going to get grabbed? That's inconvenient because I definitely need to, um, I need to get up to that top island to move the box off of the green thing onto the red thing. Oh, I can take this, yeah, duh. That's what that jump pad is for. There we go. So now I can get down to here, cover up the uh, yellow button, and that gives us, once we reverse the polarity one more time, gives us an actual exit. This is like a billion moves. Wow, it actually wasn't that many more <laughs> than the optimal solution. Hold on. I bet we can lock that down because there was definitely some just like wandering in there. I wish I wouldn't do that zoom in at the beginning. I always want to be in see the whole puzzle mode. I wonder if they had any play testers. I, I assume something like that comes from the play testers. But it's weird. It's weird. It's hard for me to imagine people being like, oh yeah, zoom it in. I don't, I don't care what's going on. Wait, why did I reverse the, I reversed the flow because I have to get over there. Yeah, no, this is right. You push the box into the beam, you fall off, you re-reverse the flow. Okay, so this part happens. This is important. Then I need to fall off so that I can reverse the fans so that I can get up to the other platform so that I can get this button, in, or this, this box into play. Fall to death. Deposit thing. Okay. Wait, I have to, I have to move the box over first. You know what? That's probably pretty sloppy. Hold on. Is there a way to do this?
Well, I mean, I'm certainly not going to be able to approach the box from... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to approach the box from the left no matter how I do this. So... It is slightly more efficient to deal with this before... Um, before sending them over, I think. And here it is mo slightly more efficient to die instead of walking all the way to the button. Again, die before... Die instead of walking. Alright, walk this all the way back into the airflow. Okay. So now we need to swap which and none of that is none of that is stuff where I could have died or where where dying would have been helpful. At this point, dying is way better than walking back to the beams though. And I think that's a place where I did not I did not just die for the speed up last time. Yeah, look at that. That is way fewer moves. That is so many fewer. <laughs> All right. Crabs are omnivores, feeding on a variety of plants and animals. That means that you are in danger. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Whenever there is a crab nearby, I want you to always be thinking. Do not let them get the scuttle on you. That's the crab version of getting the jump on you. All right, so we have a button, or we have a box here that can form us a bridge. It's pretty suspicious that we have a box here that can form us a bridge instead of this just being already built for us? Like, why? Why do they do, why'd they do this instead of something else? I guess I probably want to minimize the amount of time that I'm on that landmass. It's interesting that it, um, that there are multiple, I kind of hate, to be clear. <laughs> when I say interesting, I mean it's bad. That there are multiple sets of teleporters that are the same color, and it's not clear which thing teleports to where. Okay, so what you want to do... So they teleport you to the other one that's in the same column. I'm trying to figure out like how do we... I guess the idea then is that you would want to push this... Yeah, and then you need to... If I step down to teleport, I'm going to I'm going to end up at the top of this column with the arrows just about to fire and then I step to the right and die. Where am I trying to go anyway? I think I I need to be I need to be constructing a path to the right. I don't know why I'm like building a bridge southward. There are holes down there so that that won't work. Okay, so that being the case, we actually want this like way up here, right? I want it, I want it to be as, uh, but not as close as possible. Cause now like, well, I was gonna say now, how are we gonna catch up to the, to the shell? And the answer of course is that we are not, but also we don't need to. Right? That's a functional bridge. I don't need to I don't need to catch up with the shells. I need to just let them get cycled around to me. Okay. Now we're in a place where in theory we could we could set up a new respawner. 
Okay. 55 moves in. We're about ready to start the puzzle. So this is a puzzle about having something on the yellow button and something on the blue button. The thing that we need to have on the yellow button is right next to the yellow button, very helpfully. The thing that we need to have on the blue button is, ah, oh, damn it. How am I gonna get a shell uh, that's really annoying with the space to the south of that arrow <laughs> can only be stepped on once? I mean, I just can't get that box across though, right? No, I can. I see how the Sokoban works. Damn it. I don't like that. I don't want that to be the solution. All right, so let the arrows push it south once for us because we can't push it south. Then it needs to live. Let's see here. I can't press it. Okay, I can't push it left. I'll die. Or it it will. Sorry. If I push it left here, it will get stuck in that corner. That is, I'll die. But it's a sort of an indirect I'll die. How do I how do I do this? That's yeah, I can't. Oh boy. So neither the box nor I can get hit during this next part. I don't know how you would ever do this because what we're gonna have to do is put the box here and get ourselves into that space so that we can push it upward. And we can't use this space in doing it because this is the space we then have to press left from. But how would we ever... Oh, I think I see. I think I needed to leave a... Um... I needed to leave a shield behind. Yeah, I need cover. Technically, I don't need one here, but it will make life easier. The only arrow that's actually of value to us is the one that just hit the box. Yeah. Okay, and then we have to build ourselves a little... I guess I, from here I can just jump in the hole. Um, I want to die like here. Just shove that in and yeah, cross immediately. I can't actually get to the spot where... <laughs> this is so annoying. All right, racing against time here. So if I press right right now, I think I want to teleport into this one, meet my shell here, and form that bridge. And then I can try to race the arrow, but I'm probably better off just dying, right? So we'd have to go it'd have to be like when you're here you go left up left and then up right up yeah I don't know that that's maybe it's doable Well, it gets you across, certainly. Oh my god, it's actually really close to the right solution, too. That's so frustrating. And again, it is such a bummer that I can't, like, click the go back button right now. It'll just, like, let me back up ten moves and try to fix it. Because I bet there's a version of... There's a version of the thing there where I was trying to get in sync with the arrows that probably... Probably I could have done it in one cycle of arrows faster. 
Uh, but if I want to try again, I have to do it from the beginning of the puzzle, which sucks. Okay. Let's do it. Let's give it one more go. So, is there any particular reason... Like, every time we move the box up right now, we're saving ourselves a step downward later? Right, because I have to... Yeah, I have to get killed. This feels like a lot of waiting. Which is not to say that it's wrong necessarily, but it feels like a lot of waiting. Okay. For real. Stay zoomed out, please. Uh, and I don't technically need a crab on both of these. Let's see if we can make this work without setting the second shell. I just need one of them to be friendly. Wait, sorry, when I put this here, I have to climb up and shove that over there, jump in the water. Die right next to the respawner. Wait. Oh, you have to... <clears throat> you have to have left a third shell behind, like, way back at this point. I think that's... really frustrating. <laughs> Alright, let me start over. Hold on. So yeah, you have to... There's a version of this where you eat shit as you're constructing the bridge, basically. There we go. That's, I'm pretty sure, what we wanted. And that'll keep, that'll keep this rightmost arrow thing from shooting the box off the blue button later on. Okay. I think I've got it this time. I think I've got, <laughs> I've got all the factors under control. Okay, then for these ones, I just need to die the one time. Right, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to step back onto the teleporter versus one, two, three to die. Then from the respawner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it is, it is slightly faster to just eat it. Yeah, that's really efficient. The smallest crab species is the pea crab, which is only, again, because crabs are well-named, generally, only about the size of a pea. How, how tiny, how tiny must their little clackers be? Okay, so this thing is the only thing, the, the bane of the jamming jungle. But all right, that's about half an episode there. Let's spend the rest of the episode getting to know the pinchy peaks. Oh, we are going to have ice physics. Oh, the ice physics. Okay. Slide sandy or pushables until they hit a wall or a non-ice tile. Yup, that, that makes total sense to me. That is 
That is a thing these games always have in them. Uh, so we are going to need to slide ourselves out this way because it's really critical that we hit this corner and not the corner that is one space down into the right of it, which would obviously upon this move kill us. Hey, what a surprise. The first level of the new island is pretty easy. Frog Sandy likes to sit on lily pads and meditate. I bet Sandy likes to do that in all kinds of outfits. Okay, what's the trick here? The trick here is that in order to get out, we have to hit this corner down here. Slide up, crash into that, and then... Can we hit Let's see, we're either gonna have to hit this block here from the bottom, or no, that's it. That's the only way out, is hitting that block from the bottom. Which requires us to hit this block from the left, right? Which requires us to hit this from the top. So I need to get to this corner which is trivial, I think. Right, and once we're in this corner, we have the very easy sequence of this, 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 and that. There we go. Sometimes it pays to think I had a very small amount. The decorator crab attaches materials like seaweed and sponges to its exo uh, exoskeleton. And now they say it's for camouflage, but I feel like that's guesswork. I think if they ask the decorator crab, they would hear a much different story about sometimes just wanting to feel pretty because it really can turn your day around. Oh, red. Okay, yep. <laughs> I like that it got put next to the Groucho glasses. This is, this is where we keep the costume shells. It's interesting that this is called Deja Vu. Okay, so obviously we have to enter the puzzle by doing this. That part is, uh, that part is solid. Now, once again, it would seem that the only way out of this particular puzzle is going to be hitting the bottom side of this block, right? That's the only spot that gives us an out. So how do we do that? By hitting this, presumably, which we would perform by coming off of this but how would we how would we be here? That position isn't stoppered. Uh, hmm. It's not gonna be here either. Am I missing a functional approach? Because you couldn't use a, a stop on the north side of this block, because obviously there's a thing in the way. Hmm. That's actually really curious. How would we... How do we get connected to that? So if we go up now, we're gonna end up here, which gives us, I think movement straight to that wall. You know what might be happening here? Am I misreading the positions because it's such a long, it's such a long line? No, I don't think so. Hmm. So we press down right now. It takes us nowhere useful. So if we press down, we're entering like the square of movement that looks like this basically, right? But the thing is, if we press up, we're ending up in that place too. Right? 
Right, we're still we're still on that square with no ability to go anywhere else. Um, up, down to here gets me this position, but this position is not going to end me up in the right spot. Right? Let me let me slide over there and make sure I'm not I'm not just like seeing this wrong. No, it is a narrow miss for the position we actually want to be in. We have the ability to do this, but this doesn't get us anywhere useful. Pressing left gets us back into that same square. As does pressing right, actually. <laughs> huh. Is there... It feels like there's something... It feels like there's something going on here. Also, why is this called Deja Vu? Oh, this should be a simple one and I am feeling quite foolish. You gotta be gentle with your stuff, uh, gentle with yourself about stuff like that. Cause like, listen, sometimes the thing is simple and your brain's just not seeing it for whatever reason. It happens to everybody. And I would absolutely be cool to someone else about their brain doing this thing. But ah, oh, when my brain does it, I hate it. I hate it so much. None of these blocks are tricky in any way, right? Like there's nothing, there's nothing that we can push. Doesn't seem like it. Oh wait, okay, hold on. Yeah, my brain just like... Okay, so if we want to be here, it's off of this, off of this. We're getting pushed to the uh, into the left side of this block, which we do by hitting this block from above, which we do by hitting this block from the right? Or how would we do that? Or this block from the left. Yeah, we do by hitting this block from the left, which we would do by hitting this block from above. Can I get into this position? No, you would, sorry, you would hit this block from above because you stopped on this block, right? You went to the right into this block from hitting this block from below or this block from above, neither of which I see a trivial way to do. Ah. Uh. So when you hit this position, you're just, you're heading all the way back out to the walls. Yeah, that's no good. I put us back in the, in the big square again. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to do a thing. I just, I'll be with you in just a moment. I can't, I don't know why I can't do this with my brain right now, but I do have a tool that is for this purpose. I'm just going to see if I can, uh, I was, I was just thinking, gosh, it sure would be nice if I could just like draw on the screen a little bit. And I do have a thing for that, actually. So let me just see if I can get it uh, set up and recording. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to pause the recording. I'll be right back. Okay. There we go. I got it set up again. It, it just took a second. All right. So the ultimate goal is this thing, right? In order to do that, we have to um, we have to be here. Basically, we have to have come at this from a right angle such that we stop against that block, which means we have to have ended up here, which means we have to come at that from an angle 
Uh, which means... Yeah, there's no way to... Sorry, it's this one. We have to come at this one from right angle because there is no way to do the other one. So I have to abed here or here, just somewhere on that line where you could have slid in at a right angle. So we have to come from somewhere on this line that we could have stopped the only such place is right there. Now, see, this is a problem where my line drawing is getting messy. This is in that same column. So you slam into that by bouncing off of this. You hit that by coming from either here or here, right? This looks pretty doable. So crashing into that is just, it's gonna have to come from right here, which means being there, which means putting myself in that top corner, which we can do quite easily from here. So in theory, I can just Oh no, it's moving. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I can still track it. Down, right, down, right, up, right. There we go. Easy. Sometimes you just have to, like, listen, your brain has limited capacity. Sometimes you need to just write it down. And sometimes you do that on paper and other times you do it like this. The coral crab lives in symbiosis with coral as it protects the crab from predators and the crab clears out debris, which is like the, the most uh, dangerous kind of predator if you are coral, presumably. Super, super sandy once again to the rescue. So. The deal with this one is they want us to create a shell that will serve as a block because right now there's no way to make the final turn. So we need to get like, um, we need to get a sandy shell installed in like the upper right corner, presumably. How am I going to make that work? Well, I mean, we can certainly do like this, right? So when I hit this, I'll stop immediately Okay, that's interesting. Um, if that's the case, I suppose there's an easier way to access that from down here. And this is a non-ice tile, so you can just stand on this. That's pretty rad. So we need to hit that from a from below, ideally. Um, so I think I'm gonna die on purpose because the easiest way to hit that from below is to access the puzzle fresh, right? And then I need to hit it from the left, which is gonna require Oh, maybe I didn't think this all the way through. How would I get to the left of this? Because I don't think... Oh, I'm being silly. I'm acting like this is super difficult. Um, let's try going... Well, if I do this, I'm just going to die. And if I'm just... If I'm gonna die and take a fresh path, I may as well do it like this, right? Because if I go down here to the corner, come up and then push you to the right, then it's easy enough to just, yeah. I didn't even have to draw that one first. Although, sadly, <laughs> here, hold on. I can, I can make that work. Down, right, up, 
left. It's pretty easy access. And then... Jump in a hole so that you can go here. Oh no, wait, this doesn't work because I haven't left myself, um, I haven't left myself the ability to get up this leftmost column. Uh, so when I come over here, I have to do it via this row. And I guess it doesn't really matter which of these approaches we do first because we do have to eventually do them both. Although it's a lot easier for me to die if I've, uh... What's the fastest and most efficient death here? It's like that. Just trying to like burn as few steps as possible. Is this a, even a different number of steps than last time? It is, it is very slightly different. Legend has it that Invisible Sandy used to compete in speedrunning challenges. Imagine just like living in your world, just being in your, being, living a normal life, a normal, happy, simple crab life on your little island, doing crab stuff, scuttling, clacking, whatever. And then you see a speedrunning crab, like jittering arbitrarily and then shooting off into the distance, abusing physics glitches and stuff. God, just like the use of physics glitches must have such an effect on the environment. Sonic booms at the very least, right? Okay, is that a crate? Is that like a pushable crate? It is, okay. So we just have to get you onto the... onto the button. It would seem that this, this step is necessary, right? You're gonna have to do that. And then you're gonna have to figure out a way to press this thing to either the left or the right. I guess, okay, it's not too hard to... Nope, never mind. I was gonna say it's not too hard to like get myself onto that aerospace there. Well, no, it's really not. <laughs> I'm just have to be willing to hurl myself in a pit, right? And then I can do this. Hurl myself in a pit. That's fine. I'm really enjoying how much these ice levels are about um, killing yourself as efficiently as possible on the ice. But unfortunately, now I've overdone it and I can't, um, I don't have a path left to get out. So it's going to be about doing this thing while doing that thing. Got to maintain enough ability to move around that you can, you can still survive. So like... You want to go up and around like this, like I did the last time. Minimizes damage to the ice. Press down here. And then... I think it's okay to just die here. I think it's necessary. Now, if we ride over this in order to create the situation that lets me push the box to the left, I've cut off most of my ways of accessing the exit area. The only path we have left that still works, um, now that I've bothered to enable the tool, I'm going to use it. The only path I have left that still works is... 
Um, well, no, it doesn't involve those at all, though, right? The only path they have left that still works goes like this, the thing we did to get up here initially, and then down and right and up. But how do we... How do I push how do I push this box down without using that? Right? That's the, the core question. Because I need this to get out. Unless I can see another way to get out, which I guess I cannot. No, I don't I definitely can't. Because the thing is, even if this wasn't destroyed, once the box is on the button, we can't access this column anyway, because I will stop here if I slide up to the to the corner. So leaving a hole here doesn't matter. This space was inaccessible to us anyway. It is good to do that to push this thing to the left. I just have to figure out how to get it out of there now. Yeah, hold on. Since I don't need these corners for our final escape. Yeah, we just press over here, get the box in place, die one more time, and then I can cross this for the last time. There it is. 43. Ugh. All right, hold on. I need a morale boost. New clothes. It does work. It's effective. <gasps> winner. Huge, huge winner. Massive winner. All right, hold on. I can get that. I can get that. Oh, look at him. He's perfect. Okay. So... Is this an issue of me having inefficiently performed the solution we were doing? Just going to try to do it again, but as like as reasonably tightly as I guess there's no reason for me to die. Like I can, I can put this on here at the same time. I think I just saved myself an entire trip out onto the ice. That's gotta be enough movement savings. It isn't, it was a single point actually. Oh, what the hell, what am I doing wrong? The thing is, the approach to the box, it's a lot of movement, but it isn't actually a lot of button presses. Yeah, hmm. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Gets us all the way to here. Six, seven puts the box on the ice. I guess I can do this get the box over to the corner without even having to die. And then we cross an awful lot of space, but again, we don't actually spend a very large number of moves doing it. And that allows me to get up here. Yeah. Much tighter timing. Okay. It turns out sometimes... Teleporting uh, away from your death actually costs extra movement. Coconut crabs are the largest land-dwelling uh, arthropods and have been seen climbing coconut trees. If you've never seen a coconut crab before, do yourself a favor and Google that shit. It's, they're incredible. They are the most, like, a Hulk beefcake animal. They're ridiculous. I enjoy them very much. There's a lot of kinds of crabs that are actually super cool. All right. I'm going to I'm going to call it there. I think that 
is good progress. Uh, so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm feeling energized by this, this new environment. I got to be honest with you, looking at just like, I am so averse to hot weather that just looking at places that look hot kind of drains my energy a little bit, kind of makes me feel a little ill. Uh, but I am absolutely built for cold weather and all of this ice and snow is making me feel just wonderful. So when you come back next time, I'm sure that's going to translate into just a tremendous amount of puzzle solving skill. How could it possibly not? And we'll see you then.